My name is Rick Renner, and today I'm gonna to give you a studio tour to show you some of the things on our studio shelves. And today, I want to show you a lamp from the first century. This really is a lamp from the first century, and I don't just have one, I have a whole collection of them. I've been collecting these for many, many years. I even have one from the Greek period, which predates the first century. But when Jesus spoke about lamps, this is exactly what he had in his mind. For example, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 15, Jesus said, Neither do men light a candle. They didn't have candles. They had lamps just like this, lamps that were filled with oil. Neither do men light a lamp, that's really what the Greek says, and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. What does that mean? I'm going to tell you. And it gives light to all that are in the house, so let your light shine before men. These lamps were filled with oil. They had a hole in the top so they could be refilled and refilled and refilled. They had a mouth. The wick went into the mouth of the lamp. The wick was set on fire. And as long as there was oil burning in the lamp, the lamp could give light to anyone that was in darkness. It had a handle so the owner could direct it wherever it needed to go. All of this is so very important. Jesus says we are like lamps. We are designed by God to contain the oil of the Holy Spirit. And because we need to be refilled, ha, you could say we each have a hole in the top so we can be refilled and refilled and refilled and refilled. We have a mouth just like the lamp had a mouth. And God's intention is that the light of God and the fire of God be directed from our mouths. But we need to constantly be refilled with the Holy Spirit. But Jesus said, that you take a lamp like this and you don't put it under a bushel, but you put it on top of a stand. Why? Because the higher the light, the greater the light. When you elevated the lamp, it gave greater light. If you put it on the table, it would lighten just the people around the table. But if you put it up on a lamp stand, suddenly it would give more light. The higher the light, the greater the light. And Jesus was teaching us, you have light. You have the oil of the Holy Spirit. You have the fire of God. Get it off the table. Get it up high. Elevate it where it can give the maximum impact to those that are around you. God has called me to raise my gift, to raise my light, to shine it into your home so you can have the impact of God's Word. God is calling you to lift your lamp. God has given you oil. He's given you fire. He's given you talents and abilities. You need to get them out from under a bushel. Wow. Put them on a lampstand so they can have maximum impact. And when I come into my studio and I see these lamps, I think about the infilling of the Holy Spirit, Jesus' ability to direct me, to help me say what I need to say, and how the light of God comes from my mouth and from your mouth. That's why I have these Roman lamps on my shelves. Wow, wasn't that a great video? My friends, would you please subscribe, like, and comment under this video? Please do that. It will help us reach more people with the gospel of Jesus Christ.